viewers are the most important. So before we get into our hyenas and beautiful sunrise, remember that you can ask as many questions as you would like on hashtag Safari Live, and we'll try and answer as many as we can during the drive. Now, if you are a little bit shy to ask questions, you can also just tell us where you're watching from or say hello. It will always be nice to hear from all of you. Now, without further ado, because this scene is so beautiful, we have a look at the hyenas under this pink, pink sky. Is that not the most incredible sight? Absolutely beautiful. Now, the interesting thing is that it's not just ribbon at the den today. We have three hyenas, and I'm not sure which ones are which, so those of you out there that know the clan and know how to ID all of them, maybe you can send me through who is actually here. Remember, hashtag Safari Live. But we seem to have a young one that is probably about, I would say, just over a year old. And then we've got two big adults that are also here. So the third one has just disappeared around the front of the mound, so maybe that's ribbon that has gone around the mound. And the light this morning is so incredible. You can see everything's got this sort of pink maroon hue to it. And that's because of the clouds that are reflecting the sun as it's rising. It really is so spectacular this morning. I cannot tell you how pretty it is. And these hyenas look as though they're fairly sort of alert. They keep standing up, keep smelling, keep listening to what's going on. So I wonder if there's maybe something in the air that they're not sure about. You can see that's one of the large females. Look at the depth of her chest. Big, big girl. And they keep staring off into the distances. It's almost like they're listening and they're a little bit unsure of themselves. I wonder if maybe they have heard something or bumped into something during the night and that's why they're a little bit nervous of what's going on. Could also be that maybe another hyena is on its way, especially the way it keeps looking through the bushes. Maybe it's spotted something and we We'll then see what it is. Now, we know that Shongile has been here once before. Today would not be a day for Shongile to arrive at this den because you'll find that these hyenas will probably try and chase her then. There's enough of them to do so, so it'll be interesting to see. Now, it also looks like they may just be departing the scene. Now, I see one is drifting off away from the den site itself. I just want to check how this all plays out. I wonder if maybe Ribbon is not on the other side with the little ones at the moment. What a spectacular start to our morning. NDA is life. You're asking if hyenas have a favorite season. Well, no, I don't think so. I think they, they definitely do better in the winter months. That's just because animals become a lot weaker. And so even if they're struggling to find food scavenging, they're able to find more than enough by hunting for themselves. So hyena does hunt very, very successfully, but in the winter months, the animals are weaker and it makes it much easier and they tend to get more food in the winter months, but they don't really mind. Summer, winter, it doesn't bother a hyena. They generally are quite resourceful animals and they'll find exactly what they're looking for. Now I see one is coming from behind us here. We're under attack by a marauding clan of hyenas. They're all just walking around and around and around. I'm not sure if they even know where they want to go um, at this stage. You can see that this little one is very curious as to who we are. Now it's got a very distinct round circle on its shoulder so that should be a way for people to identify it. I just want to go around and just see if we can't see any sign of ribbon with the little ones at the front of the mound. So while these two are busy walking around in the thickets here and we don't really have a great sort of view of them, let's go around to the other side and see. But isn't this exciting and it's great to see. This is the first time that I've seen any other hyena at the den. I haven't seen um, anybody else other than Ribbon and the two little ones. So to see other hyenas is great news. It means maybe that they're starting to come and settle here. This is the second time we've had a multiple hyenas at the den itself. So this is really good news. I'm hoping this means that the rest of them are going to start coming and using this area and we're going to see multiple hyenas and the whole clan eventually coming this way, which will be great news for us. And it's going to mean, hopefully, that we might even get some more little ones. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm just trying to see if little ones are outside. So, James, this is a question that I honestly 
I had to say with definitive sort of answer, I, I wouldn't really be telling the truth. So you're wondering if a higher ranking female could potentially evict a lower ranking female to utilize it for her own cubs. Well, I suppose theoretically it's possible. I've never ever seen it. I've seen hyenas even low and high ranking share the same den site before. It's not common. You generally find the high ranking females tend to choose their own den sites and they normally use the best one that is in the area. But I, I have seen it before, so it, it, they do cooperatively share den areas. But I suppose it's possible if there was very few places for them to den and they felt like this was the best place, maybe they would then kick out that low ranking female but I personally have never seen it and I've never read anything about it to say that that does happen so it could be possible but like I say in my experience I haven't seen anything. Now it seems like our hyenas have all distributed and moved and I still have a theory that there is another area within this sort of section that we're in where these hyenas are spending time. There's two prominent pathways that go south into the bush. There's a couple big termite mounds inside here. So I really think the next time I'm on bushwalk, I'm going to go and just check around to the south of this den because I feel like there might be another den not too far away from here that these hyenas keep going to because from here they keep going into this area. And every time I come here, the tracks for these hyenas are going in that uh, direction. So definitely we're going to go and check that Area. but it seems like for now everybody's disappeared but what a wonderful way to start the day